This video is a response to an email I received and uh, they wanted to know how you could frame a gable roof over an existing structure, an existing roof um, for something like a room addition. Now, I'm not going to have every step in here if uh, I've just kind of put something together to give you a basic idea, something simple. This, this obviously wouldn't be able to be something that you would do to every home. Uh, something like this will require structural engineering. Don't uh, plan on doing something like this without it. But here's the basic steps. Ceiling joists. Make sure that they tie into the existing ceiling joists if the existing ceiling joists are running in this direction. If not, then you would need to tie it in a different way. Now here's a kind of a uh, basic thing you can do, I think, uh, instead of you know, trying to figure out all the math and everything, use a straight edge, um, attach it to the roof if, you, if the roofing has been removed. If it hasn't been removed, attach it to the fascia board. You're going to need to somehow uh, use a straight edge. Um, you can even use a string too. And again, you can move this stuff around. You know, use your straight edges, use your strings in a variety of different ways. You might uh, get a little creative here. But the main thing is to actually figure the ridge height. And uh, that can be done with uh, strings and straight edges. And you can see here that it's, it's not that hard to do. You will need to figure the height of the room addition. Uh, if you have a 4 and 12 pitch, for example, or an 18 degree pick, pitch on the existing house, you're going to want to match that. Uh, build the wall um, and set, the, set at least the first rafter in there um, to use as a, a straight edge. You can figure the center, something like this. The dark line represents the center of the roof. I moved it over three quarters of an inch because it's going to be a one and a half inch wide uh, ridge. Um, two by 10 rafters, you're gonna need about a two by 12 ridge. And this is a kind of a, this is a pretty good way because this, put the, if you nail the two by fours down to the roof, you can brace something off, nail the ridge to it, get a nice temporary support until the roof's actually built with uh, one board at each end. Here's uh, the back view here. Just a couple pictures. I know a picture's worth a thousand words sometimes. Then you'll simply measure your rafters. You can actually put a board up there and trace it if you wanted to. Uh, measure the rafters, remove the straight edge after you don't need it anymore and uh, then go ahead and build the one side and again it wouldn't matter if you built the bottom or the top first you know but uh, or do it in different steps you could build the top the bottom part section over the room addition and then the next section and then the section that i'm already showing also so here it is with the room addition um, rafters installed and then, of course, the last uh, section. Now, you could always use longer rafters. I'm going to leave that up to you, depending upon the size of the room addition and the size of the rafters. And I'm pretty sure most lumber companies sell lumber up to 30 feet. At least they do in a couple lumber yards we have down here in Southern California. So there it is. Uh, it's not that complicated. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't do something like this without a structural engineer. And uh, like I said in the video already, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment area. This is just kind of a general um, example of how you can do something like this, how you can frame something like this.